When I'm in fight camp, man, all I'm thinking about is the fight, you know what I mean? It's just, I'm so switched on and so focused on training and doing enough for the fight. But when I'm fishing, all I'm thinking about is catching that fish. You know what I mean? I can just switch off and think about someone else. So I'm back, hey. First cast on this exact same lure, straight into a Jew. Cheering about that, eh? That's mad. Got it all on camera, too. Yeah. In boxing's cruiserweight division, undefeated Australian southpaw Jai Opataya is the big fish. After he defeated Myrus Breedus to become world champion, Opataya had to wait over a year to make a first title defense as multiple mandatory challenges pulled out before Englishman Jordan Thompson finally stepped up. Undefeated IBF and Ring Magazine Cruiserweight Champion of the World, Jai Opataya! I went to his backyard, went to his country. We went there to make a big statement and you know, prove that the first fight wasn't a fluke and we belong on that world stage, and I felt like that's what we did. Underway then, the first defense of the IBF Cruiserweight title for Jai Opataya. Because he was so big, I felt like they thought they were gonna go in there and bully me, but that wasn't the case at all. It was good to make a statement with my power. The way we did win was just, you know, the cherry on top. That's the end of the challenge of Jordan Thompson. And still, the IBF and Ring Magazine Cruiserweight Champion of the World, John. Opataya's savaging of Thompson enhanced his reputation as the boogeyman at 200 pounds. It also caught the eye of Saudi officials, who were quietly putting together a blockbuster show to finish the year. The Aussie and his team quickly accepted a fight with another undefeated Englishman in Ellis Zorro. I haven't accomplished what I want to accomplish yet. I've got a big appetite and I'm still ready to do a lot more damage. And I feel like this 23rd December fight, this is it, you know what I mean? I feel like this is a big opportunity, big stage. You know, 23rd of December, we go out, we make another statement and we continue to do it. I think we're three weeks out, it's getting close. I think we leave next week, so we'll leave about 10 days out, 23rd. Yeah, we were meant to do our spy around like uh, 9.30, but now uh, that's been cancelled, so we got um, pad work downstairs at 10 o'clock, so. Oh, it's just been hard to get sort of consistent sparring, eh? Everyone's got to sort of have their time off together. We've injured a few of my sparring partners. You know, when we spar, we spar hard, so it's hard to sort of get the consistent sparring, but we stay busy, you know, we're not gonna have any days off. The plans are always changing in camps, you know what I mean, so we'll be right. Out in the sun, beautiful Gold Coast. You never stop learning as a coach, Athlete, the day that they think we can't learn anymore, well, no matter how good you are or how fit you are as a boxer, you must keep learning and improving your skill. Boxing, bro, technique, not on your toes, movement. His whole attitude now is that animalistic. I am the best cruiserweight in the world, and that's what's his mentality. And us as our team will support him all the way in that. Thank <laughs> you.
Honestly, I'm truly blessed to have the team around me that I have. I've got people that are in this journey for the right reasons. So who am I to waste that? You know what I mean? These people believe in me. It's all such a motivation to have such a supportive team behind me. It makes me want to do them proud, all of them. Today we just threw in a bit of a beat session, you know, we like to mix it up a little bit. Sometimes the gym can get a little bit stale, so it's good, you know, it's good for his mental health as well to get out of the gym and use the facilities that are just on our back source at by the beach. I love training, I love results. I love the hard work, you know what I mean? I love the grind, just being able to outgrind people, out outwork people. With my skill and with my ability, I can beat any fighter. It's just about the fitness and the strength to be able to do what I need to do in that certain time of the, on the fight or to be able to do it for 12 rounds. I've trained a long time now, 28 years, and I've been lucky enough to work all over the world with different people, but I've never come across anyone like Jai. Like, he's the most mentally strongest kid that I've ever seen, yeah, in and outside of the ring. It's the main trait that I'll, I think that it'll be a long time before anyone beats a kid in, in, in any weight division in, anywhere in the world. Yeah. Let's go. After a short but brutal fight camp, bookmakers and fans are expecting another dominant Opataya victory. But odds and fans can't fight for you. And the 28-year-old knows all it takes is one mistake. He's undefeated fighter, you know, he's earned his record. He's got some quick hands, he's got a bit of power behind him. So, you know, I just got to get in there, fight smart. I'm fit, I'm strong, I'm ready. You know, wherever this fight goes, I'm going to have an answer for it. With more big opportunities beckoning, he's left nothing to chance. I'm not taking anyone lightly. I'm, I'm expecting his best. I'm expecting the Zora I haven't seen yet. So, you know, I've been training extremely hard. I'm focused, I'm fit, I'm ready to make another statement. Can the Aussie catapult himself into superstardom on the biggest card of the year? Or will Zorro land the ultimate catch at Cruiserweight?